All right, welcome back everyone to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now today's question is, is whether mindfulness, meditation, yoga, whether any one of these things can actually impact your diabetes levels. So let's look at a very interesting meta-analysis that was published in the Journal of Integrative and Complementary Medicine, looking specifically at the impact of yoga, qigong, on diabetes. Now, the way they were looking at diabetes were they were measuring hemoglobin A1C. Remember, that's a way of looking at sugars that's attached to your red blood cells going on. And so specifically what they did was the researchers in this particular case, they did what's called a systematic review and meta-analysis of all the studies they could find. And they wanted to find out what is the impact of these specific activities on controlling type 2 diabetes, specifically their sugars. Now, they included 28 studies in this meta-analysis. 18 of them were randomized controlled trials. Why does that matter? Because at the end of the day, the gold standard for what we want to see is that there is a control arm and that there's randomization. So a randomized controlled trial is really important to look for. And then the remaining 10 were matched for pre-intervention versus post-intervention going on. So in these 28 studies, 18 of them, yoga was the main intervention. In five of them, there was mindfulness-based stress reduction as the main intervention. And qigong was the main intervention in three studies. And one of the studies used Buddhist walking meditation. Okay. So what were the findings? Well, when they looked at all of the studies, regardless of which activity they used, there was an average reduction in hemoglobin A1C by about 0.8%. 84%. So if you're sitting there wondering, well, is 0.84 significant? The answer is absolutely yes. A typical diabetes medication will lower your A1C by about one point. So having a 0.84% reduction is quite significant. But what's really interesting is that yoga was associated with the largest reduction in your hemoglobin A1C, specifically by 1%. Next was Qigong by 0.66%, and next was mindfulness-based stress reduction by 0.48%. And the last thing that was really interesting about the study was what they wanted to see was how often people did yoga and how was that linked to A1C. So what they found was there was an inverse association. In other words, the more they did yoga, the more their A1C dropped. How much? Well, for each additional day of yoga that people were doing per week, they had an average A1C decline of 0.22%. So what's the take-home message here for this study and what can you do right now? First, this does not mean that if you have diabetes, you shouldn't go see your doctor or you shouldn't take medicines. None of that is true. You still need to take medications. But the answer here is, is, if you have diabetes, there is so much more that you can be doing to improve your life. We've talked about exercise. We've talked about sleep. We've talked about eating more plants going on. And now we're talking about little things like doing yoga, practicing breathing, doing qigong. Any one of those things will make a significant impact in your overall health. It will lower inflammation in your body. And as the data is showing us, it can actually lower your A1C. As always, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you have topics or questions you want to ask about, drop them in the comments below. I'll be sure to address them in one of the upcoming videos. Thank you.